hello internet uh, welcome back to another lesson series in this lesson series I'm going to cover bootstrap as you know bootstrap is the most popular HTML CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive and mobile first projects on the web so it has a huge community and it has a lot of a lot of components which we can use and it has an amazing grid system so all of that uh, coming up in future lessons so to start let's download bootstrap and install it okay we have a couple of ways of downloading it uh, I mean installing it you can download the bootstrap uh, by clicking this button which will give you uh, archive file, uh, which will give you zip file which you have to extract and link to your HTML document uh, I'm not going to do that way I'm going to create uh, I'm going to use the CDN I, which I think is the best way to do it uh, using the CDN CDN is the content delivery network so uh, let's begin first uh, let me create uh, I have already created a file uh, let me input some HTML to get me started uh, okay so uh, first we have to do is uh, let's save this first we have to do this copy this and add it next is the theme this is of course optional uh, but let's edit it and of course the JavaScript file now the current version at the time of this recording is 3.3 .3. so we have the newest version ok we are done and let's take a look at what we have bootstrap and index html okay we have nothing actually right now so let's put some html uh, let's create a div with the class of container okay the container class is also is a bootstrap class which will uh, let me put a paragraph here is some text oops text let me save as you can see uh, it is uh, it has aligned to the center let me inspect element and show what we have see now it has aligned to align the uh, div uh, center wise it has a width of 1170 pixels okay so in this lesson I'm going to do the responsive grid system so inside the container I'm going to create another div uh, with the class of row and this class row can be divided up to 12 columns so this class row is a horizontal horizontal div and it can be divided into 12 divs so give, let me give you example let's create columns div the class of call lg and 6 so let's put this column 1 and of course column 2 save and take a look okay now as you can see the uh, the document has been divided into two columns let me add a background uh, let me insert another external style sheet let me copy this paste it and give it name a name of style.css let's create style.css style.css okay let's give it let's give divs a background color of red background 
color of okay now you can see it properly okay now as you can see the document has been divided into two columns okay the same way uh, only thing you have to notice is each row have to be divided into two columns i if i do i can do call lg2 here and save As you can see now it has been divided into three diff three columns mm, okay so in the responsive grid what you should know let me create another row and in this time I'm gonna I'm not going to make it LG I'm gonna make the screen size MD again MD and MD let me save and let's put a horizontal line horizontal line to see the difference okay now now let me explain the difference between the LG and MD MD stands for medium device LG stands for large screens so let me take out the responsive layout and show you as you can see in the smallest grid in the smallest portrait we have every div gets stacked up together right here like this in the tablet also in the 600 800 pixels range it happens the same but in this tablet landscape the 1024 the large the LG divs have been stacked up together but the MD column uh, MD uh, divs have been still in the grid system so they are responsive now let me show another give another row and let's make it SM which stands for small devices and go here refresh everything looks the same in the large screen and let's look at the responsive layout in the portrait size it looks the same in the landscape as you can see the columns have been stacked up together still the MD columns are in different uh, our, the MD divs are stacked up uh, the LG divs are also stacked up but the so small X, uh, small divs have been uh, are in the grid system okay I think you got an understanding of how the grid system works so now so when developing a site all you have to do is think about how the view should look like and uh, start uh, if you want the divs to stack up together I mean to see the grid system in a medium sized device then use the MD and if you want it to stack up together in a medium sized device use the LG and if you want it to look like small in stacked up together in small devices and medium sized devices and in large size large screens you should use the SM okay and there is another uh, the extra small Great. extra small extra small and refresh and let's look at the responsive grid again as you can see in the extra small divs uh, extra small sc uh, screen it in here let's change this to one two three so you can see okay let's look at the view responsive as you can see it is still in the grid system the extra small and the other devices now you will s un now you have understanding how the grid system works in bootstrap 
of course we have another things we can do and of course we can make this div uh, uh, inside this we can create another class of row what this does is now you can have another three uh, divs within uh, another grid system within this grid within this column so now that also can be divided into 12 grids so let me let me copy this too uh, and let's make let's make everything the same size that is call lg4 and we want another call lg4 okay let's take a look now what we have done is we have done change this lg6 div and added a row to that and added another three divs inside that okay we can offset uh we can offset uh, columns as well let's remove this and we can use the call lg offset by four that means this will re remove and it will start from here as you can see it's it's offset at two divs okay i think that covers the responsiveness let me uh let me here's a breaking point see the lg divs has been stacked up together the the medium size divs have still are still in the grid the small divs are also still in the grid and the extra small are still in the grid let's make them small smaller and see now this is the MD, the medium sized divs have also been stacked up together and of course the small devices are still uh, in the grid and of course the extra small divs are still in the grid and here's another breaking point the small divs also get stacked up and the extra small divs are still there so that's that now you can see how we can easily create a simple grid system using bootstrap okay i think that covers it for today uh, i hope you guys understood please leave comments this is the first time i am doing a css framework as a tutorial uh, so leave comments and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching have a great day bye